this video is a narrated version of the speed paint of my fairly recent drawing, as of recording this video, uh, called Western Unions of the Country Westerns. We begin here where I've drawn the flat work and started to add in some um, edge fur. However, not all that fur is completed, and it's obvious that, you know, there's no texture or lighting yet. I'll be adding those here. And, as you just saw there, I uh, moved up the, well, I say the, a little texture on the characters. Because I thought it just looked a bit too low. I was just making sure that I was using the right brush there. Nothing too exciting. The same thing. Here I'm uh, trying to increase the thickness of this marking. And I think I did that successfully. Just adding some more edge fur here. Nothing too exciting. I do really like the way that looks. Right there. I like that. Uh, you can see here that I'm trying to draw the fur of the uh, tail stripes individually. There's a reason for that, which I'll see shortly. In the meantime, I'm still trying to do this tedious thing. And yes, that really is tedious. Yeah, here's the reason I was um, just trying to do those individually. Is when I don't do them individually, it looks like crap. All the colors run together. And I, uh, I very much like the more segmented look. And it's more visually appealing. So here you can see that I'm uh, doing that in a bit of a better way by ensuring that the um, stripes are separate. I do the lowest one first, then the one above that, the one above that, and so on. I say and so on, but there are only three stripes. So and so on is a bit redundant. Anyway, this lets me uh, do the stripes individually without losing much detail while I still uh, keep some of my sanity. Yeah, it looks mostly okay. Just trying to make the tail look a bit more uh, full there. And you can see now that I've moved into Krita uh, to do these adjustments. I don't think I'll be doing that in the future, because Krita, as I discovered during this drawing, is awful. Here I'm just um, adding some shading to the character's abdomen. Uh, I'm doing it in this janky way because I'm drawing using a trackpad. I'm just trying to pour the shading a bit, make it look a bit more natural. So, 
boring. There I was really trying to get that uh, contour. I'm, I'm using my finger on the screen like you can see that. I'll just use the cursor from now on. Yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to get this contour right because this is really what shows that the legs are separate. Must have gotten that, so now I'm moving on to adding some shading to the character's right leg. I don't know why this bit was left in. Uh, FFmpeg was supposed to cut out the bits that didn't really fit. Well, not, not didn't really fit, that weren't, um, unique. Okay, still adding some more shading here. I'm adding some shading to the character's eye. This is kind of uh, interesting, I think. Alright, I get that little bit at the bottom of his eye there to indicate that that's kind of wet. And now I'm adding some shading onto the character's iris around his pupil. That is done to make the um, iris there just look a bit more three-dimensional because this bit is convex and it goes down to concave around here and back to convex. Just add some shading to indicate that a bit. Yeah, you can see there that um, I, I forgot to include the sensor bar, so I'll have to do a frame-by-frame -frame thing to remove that for YouTube. That'll, that'll be really fun. I just love doing frame-by-frame -frame stuff. I'm actually adding the uh, fur texture here. You can see that the way I do that isn't really that complicated. It generates a pretty great looking output, but is it that complicated in and of itself? No. All I do is add a bunch of dots, and then I use my fur texture tool to uh, move those in the direction of the fur. You can see here that I uh, screw up the uh, direction of the character's fur. It shouldn't go like this, it should be diagonal, uh, coming from the character's nose, out, outward. Uh, I'll draw that with my cursor here. It should have this kind of thing going on. Adding some more texture, this time to the character's arm. I think that looks pretty good. Adding some fur texture here. Uh, this will not be very long lived. Because I still need to add the character's abdominal muscles. And after I do that, this fur texture will not map to those. What a shame. gonna have to delete that stuff. Just some, um, browser windows popped up. Here I'm just shading the character's hand. And here I'm trying to make the muzzle blend a bit better with the rest of the character's face, because, uh, previously it didn't blend that well. Uh, I would go back, but I fear losing my spot. So, if you want to see that, go ahead. But, well, actually... No, I... I guess I do have a little, um, thing here, so... Please 
just be patient. Or maybe I just go to improve the shading later. Um, at this point, I might actually just be trying to add it for the first time. No, I'm definitely going to improve it there. Actually, I'm yeah, I still don't know. Anyway, we'll find out later. Here I'm just trying to uh, get this bit to look a bit more concave. I'm trying to get the bit around his mouth to look more concave, not... I'm not trying to get his... Uh, not cheek, but this bit. I'm not trying to get this bit to look more concave. I'm actually trying to get this bit to look more convex. And by extension, this should look more concave. But I apologize for my poor wording choice there. That's my fault. character's bicep up a bit, uh, just to make that look a bit better. Yeah. Here I'm deleting some, um, just some kind of janky remnants, speckles, as I call them in the commit messages, because this whole file is tracked with git. Here I'm just re redrawing the fur shading so I can have the abdominal muscles have some uh, better fur texture mapping. I, I do the legs one at a time so that, um, so I don't get um, uh, just the fur texture swapped, because that's something that happens. When I say swapped, it's so that one doesn't corrupt the other. Uh, what I'm doing here, when I go into GIMP, is I have the equalizer tool turned on. What that does, in this case, is um, it lets me more easily see the differences between all the shades. Like, uh, here. Normally that's not so obvious. Because that's a very dark color. What Equalize does. Basically, it brightens that and increases the contrast. In this case. So I can more easily see that... Okay, yeah, there's shading there. In this case, I was able to use that to see that I'd forgotten to restore the character's neck fur. So, right now I'm just restoring that. Adding some more shading. I apparently just made that bit in invisible. I don't know why. Here I'm using the, um, uh, the alien map filter just to uh, show which parts are the same color. That's kind of useful for shading because I can see oh, I, I forgot to blur this bit or oh, this bit doesn't have any shading at all. And that is the end of the video. As you can see here MPV is a bit shitty on OpenBSD. Uh, it really likes to do seg faults. So that's always nice. And now I'm left with this garbage.
How fun. A huge file. It's pretty much just garbage. I hope that you enjoyed that. And, um, if you didn't, then please tell me why. Because I would like to fix that sort of problem. You know, I very much appreciate criticism, both of this uh, video and of the 